we got to, um, into the airport about midnight last night and after a great sleep in this beautiful traditional house. We're staying in a village that is built of traditional houses. Our new guide, Alessandro, speaks a little bit of Italian and some English and some Indonesian, which is very handy. If I spoke some Indonesian, we would have long conversations and you would be bored to death. And after a towel and some shampoo, <laughs> we're gonna start to visit some local villages just outside uh, Makassar. We are on the very southern peninsula, which is South Sulawesi on the island of Sulawesi. The Bugis, they are the most famous historically. They were discovered in about the 15th century by the Europeans and um, quickly determined they were fierce warriors. So when they returned home and their children were misbehaving, they threatened the children with getting the boogeyman after them. So now you know where that comes from. is a port where the boogies have been since uh, the 1500s when the, uh, the Europeans first discovered them. They are the people that were here then, they are the people that are here now, and they are completely in charge of everything that goes around here. They are the traders, they are the entrepreneurs, they are the fishermen, the sailors, and the pirates, if, um, if you allow me to use that term. This ship has just arrived from the province of Nusa Tengara Ovest, da vicino all'isola di Lombok e trasportano quello che qui chiamano Paguamera, che per noi è lo scalogno, che è praticamente il tipo di cipolla più usato qui in Indonesia. Questa è la cabina di pilotaggio della nave ed è interessante vedere come praticamente non c'è alcuna strumentazione. Questo perché le tradizionali tecniche di navigazione e l'antica conoscenza dei mari della zona da parte dei buchi fa sì che loro possano quasi navigare ad occhi chiusi. È assolutamente amazing the way that the, 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 the way that the boat is run. Obviously, um, the crew is uh, working very hard. They have to be fed very well. Um, race is, of course, in this part of the world a staple diet, but um, they are privileged to have uh, access to some extraordinary fishing. The cooking facilities are pretty rudimentary, but it turns out that the most unlikely member of the crew is the best cook. We're actually among some guys who know more about sailing and uh, fishing and trading in this part of the world than uh, any place else. These boats are not easy to navigate, but uh, they do it with great ease and facility. This vendor right here is uh, selling a, a dessert, this uh, cassava and some syrup and some shaved ice. The 
there's uh, something very special about uh, the Bugis. Uh, they're, they're associated with uh, South Sulawesi. We're just now leaving Makassar on the way to see where the boats that, uh, for whom the Bugis are quite famous, we're gonna go see now where they're being built. Ci troviamo a Geneponto, una zona a sud di Makassar, caratterizzata da un'estesa pianura. Anche qui vivono genti bughis, vivono di un'economia sempre legata al mare ma che non è la pesca, che è, come vedete, è la produzione di sale. Grazie ad una serie di vasche dove l'acqua del mare viene di volta in volta passata da una all'altra fino a che non se ne possa ricavare il minerale. Ho just made a new friend, Samin, che è da questo villaggio dove fanno il sal. And I explained to him how, how important it was that he has uh, bothered to learn his English, that I was willing to come 12,800 miles to visit with him, but without his uh, very serious study and his, uh, his dedication to learning English, we would not be able to become friends. Yes. First, Thank you so much, Sam. You are welcome. Nice to meet you. Sama Sama. Yes, <laughs> Sama Sama. Maybe you can uh, stay first in there because uh, my family said that uh, uh, they want to take a picture uh, together you, with you. It'll be my pleasure. Yes. <laughs> We're just now leaving this area, which is uh, the salt producing part of uh, Sulawesi. Uh, as we found in many other places, the, the people who are involved in the, um, the entrepreneurial enterprises are the boogies. We found one uh, young man, very well educated, spoke very good English. The people of the United States of America, nice to get from me and my family. Okay, I am, uh, I am the people of uh, Geneponto in South Sulawesi, Makassar. And uh, I congratulated him on his ability to connect with me because obviously I speak very little Indonesian. Whenever it gets to be um, lunchtime, we're hungry. Um, there's always some place alongside the road where we can pull over and there'll be something wonderfully edible. We don't always know what it is. I think this is like a game show where you open up and you get a surprise, a black rice surprise, and lots of sambal to go with it. And I don't know what it is, but it's really good. As we find in so many of the places we go, uh, we're driving down the road in the very south part of um, Sulawesi on the way to Bira, almost there. And we come across a family alongside of the road involved in uh, some uh, industry, which we find out is actually the cultivation of a kind of seaweed. They um, got the whole family involved. These are uh, more members of the uh, Bugis group, and uh, they're very industrious people. They make uh, quite a bit out of very little, so. When I'm fishing, this is, um, this is actually a nuisance. Here actually it's become an industry. You can see the way that the sprout is attached to the line. There's a small loop and tied in with a lark's head, which is after they clean the rope, is so the women actually go back and replant by taking a small sprout and attaching to the loop with a simple lark's head knot. Very ingenious, very simple, very industrious. We're 
search continues, we're right now virtually in the middle of nowhere. We're on the very south end of South Sulawesi. We take very deliberately these uh, back roads where we run into nothing or no one, and uh, we always find something very interesting. This is a model of the Panisi, which is, of course, a traditional Bugis uh, sailing yacht. And um, we're on the way right now to see the guy, or look for the guy, who is actually the model maker. What we weren't prepared to find was a model sitting in the front yard of a typical Indonesian home. And we have no idea why it's there, but we're going to tend to find out. How did he get started into the, the idea of making models? It's the real reproduction of the real ship. Yeah. And they store it in at home yeah. as the as the mirror of the real ship. So everything happened to the real ship um, happened to the small one. You might as well call this right downtown Tanaberu. We're on our way back to see where the boats that have become so famous are being built. This is, uh, this is downtown. It's got everything but a traffic light. But the people in the village here are those that are involved in the industry of the boat building. We're in the village of Anaberu, which means the new land. And uh, this is obviously where all the boat building's going on. There are 30 or 40 boats being built here at any, any one time when it's not raining in the rainy season. This behind us, of course, is a sawmill, which is a very effective sawmill. There's so much of this boat building going on that you can imagine that after a while, the forests begin to suffer, where the wood is substantial enough to use for boat building, and this area have been cut down and they're actually now having a project to start some reforestation. Le navi locali non usano chiodi di ferro, neanche viti di ferro, ma sono tutte quante composte in legno. E anche le tavole che compongono la chiglia vengono collegate tra loro in chiodi di legno. The lunchtime now is coming up on uh, on 12 o'clock, and we've we've come to the busiest place in town that has the finest cuisine. And what we're beginning to discover is they're always out of sambal. Sambal is very spicy sauce. Each chef has their own recipe, and if it's any good, it's always gone. What is this? Is the Fantastic. This is the real deal right here. This is, and you'll notice it's disappearing quickly. We want to take a look at this boat that's being built, this great big boat. 
Uh, we don't know an awful lot about the details of it, except that obviously there's a large number of people involved in the process. One of the things that's going on right here, right now, these guys are actually bagging up sand in order to create a shoal and to support the boat during its construction. So again, part of the ingenious methods that are used to solve problems that would otherwise be easy to do in a more industrialized area. Okay, so let's say that you're born in uh, South Sulawesi and um, you come from a long line of uh, sailors, I mean, historically traders. You, um, you have an ocean available to you, you have access to a boat and uh, you've got a family to support. So let's see, what are your options? Let me think about what are my options? This is just another example of it's all easy if you know how. Um, there are no ways here, so they must build their own. And they have a fairly simple system of doing that. They build a bed of rails that are supported by timber. What they do is then they use the forwardmost timber to anchor a cable, and they winch the boat from the back towards that forwardmost cable, using the weight of the boat to hold the timbers down. In other words, you must have an anchor point in order to move anything. And this is a very ingenious way of doing an awful lot of work with a little bit of effort. I just made a deal with the skipper. If I could pull the boat to help him out a little bit, he's gonna give us passage to Banda. As with many ancient cultures, there's always uh, some sort of an offering that goes with every ceremony. The launching of a boat is traditionally a you know, very uh, major ceremony, even in the United States. In this case, before they start the launch of the boat, they actually offered a goat. And uh, right up here hangs the, uh, the feet of the goat, and they maintain that as a good luck charm. Obviously, so far, it's working very well for everybody except the goat. 